Hi, this is Dave Collins from Showa Promotions with a special Butterscotch.com series on Google AdWords. This is part one, setting up your AdWords account. So let's start by going to adwords.google.com, clicking on the Try AdWords Now button towards the top right of the screen, then choosing the standard edition, click the button for continue, and of the options here, choose the option that you already have an email address and password, and that you'd like to use an existing Google account for your AdWords account. So you enter your existing Google account email and password, and you click on the continue button. At this point, you have to make the first big decision, what currency you're going to use within the account. It's worth pointing out that once you've set this currency, there's no way to go back and alter it. So choose carefully. At this point, we're going to choose to have our account work in Canadian dollars. And click continue. And that's it. The first step's complete. The AdWords account has been created. So let's click on the link to sign into the account, then click on the button to create your first campaign. We then need to make two decisions for targeting. We need to select the language or languages. We're going to choose English and the actual location of the customers that we're going to be targeting. So we're going to change it from the default. Click on change targeting link. And to make life easier, we'll go straight to the bundles tab where we'll pick Western Europe and the United States and Canada. And from there, we scroll down the page and click the done tab. So we can now see that we're targeting English, 27 locations, and we click on continue. Now at this point, Google are going to make us enter some sort of ad text. So rather than get too bogged down in this, I typically create a sort of a dummy text or a placeholder, if you like, just so that we can carry on working within the system. It's worth pointing out that you do have to use a correct destination URL because Google, in the next stage, will check that everything's working as it should be. Don't worry that the ad looks pretty uninspiring at this point, it's only a placeholder and we're now going to do the same with the keywords. So for now we're just going to enter our placeholder text that we're rather unimaginatively going to use the word keyword. Click on continue and Google will then calculate their pricing. Now I have to enter a daily budget and again this is an initial figure that we can adjust later. So for now, we'll start low and we'll select a daily budget of two Canadian dollars and we'll choose a maximum bid of five cents. And we don't enter anything for the actual content bid at this time. Google then give us various useful information. For instance, a reminder that we can change these settings later. Click on continue and we then get to review all the information that we've sent being the campaign name, the languages, the locations of the customers, the actual bid, the ads and keywords. And we then get to opt in or not opt in to some of Google's offerings. And at this point, we can decide whether to set up billing or decide to defer that for a later date. So for now, we'll choose to set up billing later. The next screen sometimes surprises the AdWords novice when they find out that their new campaign and ad group is immediately live, which is the main reason that we choose to enter the billing information later. So for now, we'll click on the pause campaign link and we're then ready to go on to the next stage.